Hey there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Death Note uh, manga. Warning, if you have not read the manga, uh, you can stop the video now and come back. Or if you actually have and don't mind and you're open for discussion, then you can proceed with the video. Okay, so on the new manga we have a new character, um, just like Light Yagami, but his name is uh, Minaru Tanaka. and. Basically, he is a young student that happens to have the Death Note by Ryuk. Um, so, uh, the few points that I have here that I really, I, I really like the the character and how the manga was starting off. Um, but what I didn't like is how they ended it. I feel like the manga itself could have had a, a lot more potential. Um, this Kira was a little bit more different. Uh, he didn't take the God. Uh, approach like light um, passing judgment and killing you know the bad guys he actually went the hustle way he really didn't want any trouble but at the same token he wanted to be hidden from you know possess possessing such power so what he did was uh, he tried to sell the death note um, nobody on the past has used the death note this way um, he didn't have any intent of killing or didn't want to use he did go through the rules with Ryuk it's everything is the same you know just like the original death note nothing has changed ever since the rules are there so he knew he knew what he was getting into so he didn't want to kill anybody with the death note now you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but um i think that as long as he didn't kill anybody he shouldn't be punished by the death god um once he passes away since he's giving up ownership and he did not kill anybody with the death note so his plan was essentially to hustle his way and to get money and to do so he basically advertises this through a tv station that was near his uh, location so anyway um so when he decides to sell this uh, book everybody's fighting for the book eventually you know they're bidding a lot of money and in, or in order for uh, him to claim this money he's gonna basically just you know the carrier of uh, of the bank that he has everyone's gonna get like a billion dollars or whatever everything looked like a perfect plan um, however when this is going on um, the Shinigami Armonia I think uh, appears with Ryuk during this you know events before um, they unfold and he basically tells Ryuk that you know the king wants to talk to him and he's like uh, why me or whatever and then you know he just says hey don't you know don't kill the messenger I'm just telling you so then Ryuk uh, you know we assume that he goes and talks to the king or whatever and while this is going all perfectly planned out or whatever um, he sold uh, the book he gave it away he gave the ownership and then he told Ryuk hey uh, I don't want you to come back ever to me. I just don't want to hear from you. I'm good. Like, you know, I already hustled this money, so I'm good. So uh, what happens next is what uh, what I think it where it breaks up a little bit. And here's where, you know, you, I throw in my opinion and you can basically clear it up with me. Maybe there's something I don't understand, but he's going by the rules. What's happening currently? So he sells the book. He, you know, he tells you, hey, go deliver it to the guy that uh, bought it, which in this case, Happens to be United States, put a lot of money up front or whatever. So, uh, so Ryuk appears to the look like of Trump and he's like, hey, uh, just FYI disclaimer, um, basically told by the king to kind of put a disclaimer or maybe it was just him just letting him know. Uh, who knows? Uh, he's saying that one of the rules that was added per the king or whatever is that whoever sells the book or buys a book, they both die for doing that. That's one of the new rules. Basically, uh, Trump's like, yeah, I nah, don't want to die, basically. And uh, so he's like, so he declined. Uh, so when this is happening, you know, Rick doesn't know what to do because he's like, OK, well, um, he's flying around thinking, OK, well, I, I, I got to go back and tell um, Minoru that, uh, you know, the buyer didn't get it so what do i do so in this case he gets stuck he can't tell him because he did make a promise and real keeps his promises i guess basically minoru ends up dying at the bank after claiming the money because that means that he actually received a transaction therefore he is killed which here doesn't make a sense because he was doing everything before that new rule so therefore he should not be punished by a death god to basically so here's where uh you know i feel like it had a lot of potential to they could have ended it with uh maybe 
um, you know, Minoru still being alive or leaving it just up in the air, kind of like, ooh, what will happen? You can end it that way, just leave it to imagination, but clearly they wanted to just do a one shot and just kill off the new Kira. But I just feel like it was kind of rushed at the end or kind of dumb on the way he died. Let's look at it in a different angle. Um, if Minoru, you know, if he was doing all this and then the rule applied while he was um, doing this transaction or whatever, Ryuk could have told him before he lost his memory saying, hey, here's the here's the book. I don't want you to talk to me after this. Uh, you know, thanks, whatever. And then Ryuk would have been, hey, a new rule was added. So just FYI, you know, if you sell it now and uh, the other person gets it, you're both going to die because that's one of the new rules that was added per the Death King or whatever. He could have told him that. Then it would have been a totally different outcome. And maybe um, this new Kira would have found a way around not dying by you know, tricking or finding a loophole into that new rule. But Ryuk didn't tell him anything about that, so then therefore he maybe didn't add that rule till after, you know, from point, you know, A, where he was, here's the book, by erase my memory, to, you know, giving it to the President of the United States. Um, he could have added that rule there. It could have been in between that point. But even so, I still, I still don't see how that will apply because, um, if the person didn't accept, uh, well, the president didn't accept the, the book, then that means the transaction should have been canceled. Therefore, it was not sold. And the money that uh, Minoru uh, receives at the bank will be nullified as it's not a transaction of selling. Rather, it's a, um, you know, it's free money. It's just he hustled. Basically, you know, like if, if I was to have a death note, say, hey, I'm going to sell this death note for a million dollars. And then you give me a million dollars, but then I don't give you anything. I'm hustling you. I never sold it. So therefore, by the rule of the book, I didn't sell it. So this is where it kind of like the story breaks down a little bit. And that's where I think uh, it kind of fell a little bit. Everything was building up pretty good. Um, we did see some of the um, old uh, faces, like obviously Ryuk. But uh, we did see the new L, which is Nier and uh, um, the other two detectives. Um, they didn't play too much part of it other than to make the story a little bit more believable to the people, you know, from the, uh, when they were broadcasting on the TV station. But other than that, like, uh, they didn't impact too much other than his own demise was just by destiny. So the moral of the story is, uh, I guess it's, it doesn't matter if you try to use it for good or, or, or bad or for yourself. Um, the death note, I guess, brings misfortunes. It doesn't matter how in the end you will die whether you killed somebody or not. So now the real question is, will Minoru uh, go to the place where, uh, you know, like Yagami went, a uh, place of nothingness? Or does he just die and just go heaven or hell because he really didn't kill anybody, so therefore he shouldn't be punished like a, a you know, Death Note user. So that's the real question. Just let me know what you think. Uh, if you think the story fit perfectly or maybe, um, you know, some of us are looking too much into it, but I think uh, Minoru had potential. Uh, the new Kira could have uh, kept going or at least leave it open to imagination. Or if you think this is the good way to end it, uh, just to not linger any longer, then that's fine too. Um, let me know what your opinions are and we'll be uh, uploading more videos. This is actually my first video for uh, 2020. So just leave your opinions and comments and until next time. Sanyu, signing off.